So you just watched a video on Kepler's first law. So one of the, the first law is that all orbits are ellipses and the sun is at a foci, focus point. So what I'm trying to show you here is how to actually draw an ellipse and calculate the eccentricity. So the first thing that I did was put the pins in the foci and put the string around, put the pen in, and draw my ellipse. Now I want to measure, take my two measurements, the distance between the two foci, which in this case is 3.0 centimeters. And then I want to take the length of the major axis from one edge of the ellipse through the two foci to the other side is the major axis and we need to know what that distance is. So the distance between the foci is 3.0 centimeters, the length of the major axis is 15.8 centimeters. So now what I want to do is I want to actually calculate the eccentricity value of the ellipse that I just constructed. So I need to use a formula from the front of my reference table eccentricity equals distance over distance between foci over length of major axis. I substitute my data in 3.0 divided by 15.8. Use my calculator, put the 3.0 in first, divide by 15.8, and I'll get my eccentricity value. However, I'm going to write out the whole um, longer value here right now for us. And when we, after you calculate the eccentricity, you have to remember to round to the nearest thousandths place. And if you go back up to your value, you look at the 8 next um, to the right of the 9, and it's larger than 5, so I have to round my 9 up to a 10, and my value becomes 0 0.190. So if we take a look at our value that we just calculated, the eccentricity, and because we rounded to the nearest thousandths, we have our value of 0 0.190. If we go up and look at our reference table on page 15, we'll see that there is a column called eccentricity of orbits. And remember, eccentricity is um, a value that is between 0 and 1, 0 being a circle, 1 being a line. And the closer you are to the value of 1, the more eccentric or more elongated of a, an ellipse that you will be. So the question becomes, if you take a look at our value that we calculated, the 0 0.190, which planet's eccentricity value is this ellipse that we created close to? So you come up here and you look and you scan through, and if you look, you can see that we're really close to the um, Mercury's eccentricity of its orbit. So, and then the other questions you can be asked are what planet has the least eccentric orbit and which planet has the most eccentric orbit. And if you look, you can see Mercury is the most eccentric because it's closest to a value of 1, whereas Venus is the least eccentric. And after calculating, using our formula from the front of our reference table, we can then evaluate our uh, eccentricity value and figure out how does it fare with other planets. And we can also compare ellipses with each other that we will be drawing in lab. You'll be drawing these for yourself, and you need to be able to compare and look at each ellipse that you create and which one's most eccentric and least eccentric.